in question 28 we have a uh, a solid cone we're told that the base has got the base has got a radius of 4.5 so this here is 4.5 um, we're told that the curved surface area of the cone is 130 centimeters squared and that will come in handy later and that's all the information we're given we're now told to calculate the size of angle a v b so essentially this angle here now we're going to do this step by step using the information that we have so firstly what we'll do if we look at this here we can recognize that this is a right angle triangle and at the moment we need to f find an angle we have one length if we had at least one other length we could use simple tr um, trigonometry of you know sine using so Katoa sine is opposite over hypotenuse or cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and so forth we don't but what we do have is the information that the curved surface area is 130 because the uh, the cur oh. <laughs> the curved surface area of a cone is pi r l and we know that is equal to 130 so pi we obviously know r is 4.5 and l is one of the, is the uh, is this length incidentally before I should point out which length is L so this length here is L when you're working out the curved surface area of a cone so what that means therefore is that let me just do it here so it means therefore 130 equals pi times 4.5 times L. Therefore, L equals 130 over 4.5 pi. And that, in fact, gives us our answer of 9.1956 to a few decimal places. So now that we know this length here, what we can do is use Pythagoras because uh, sorry we can use simple trigonometry because we have a right angle triangle now so because that's the right angle this here is the hypotenuse so we know H we've got an angle and this is opposite the angle so therefore we have an angle we've got the opposite and we've got the hypotenuse so using Sokotoa tells us it's the SOH so it's sine so what that tells us then is that the sine? Oh, sorry, stick to black. It tells us that the the sine of our angle, let's just call it x for now, is equal to the opposite, which is four point five over the hypotenuse, which is nine point one nine five six, etc. Um, therefore, angle x is equal to the inverse sine of 4.5 over 9.19 and that in fact gives us an answer of 29.2988 now we're not finished there because what we've just done there is work out this angle here we now need to double it to get the whole thing so what we therefore have to do, we have to multiply that by 2, and that gives us 58.5976. The answer asks for it correct to one decimal place. So again, we go to there. The 9 is greater than 5, so we have to round this up. So our final answer, therefore, is... 58.6